they call you? How did you get that? Well, another weird story. I was at this party at this couple's house, and they were having a big party, and a lot of the Basie musicians were there. Um, and Dizzy Gillespie's album was on, on, on the turntable. And while I was just cleaning, I was just humming, and when he hit the high note at the end, I hit the high note while cleaning the hash tray very quietly. And this gentleman next to me said, who did that? Lambert? That Dave Lambert was standing next to me. Oh, I and he's the that. one that said, uh, who did that? Hit that high note. And I said, I did, yeah. Nothing, think nothing of it. And he said, are you a singer? And I said, no, I'm an actress who sings. Um, because I was being very arrogant, arrogant about being an actress, whatever that was. So, um, well, a week later, the phone rang, and it was John Hendricks. He had called me on a Monday, and I said, he said, Miss, you know, Yolanda Vaughn? I said, yes. He said, John Hendricks. I kept saying, who? 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 He said, John Hendricks, and I said, oh, yes, yes, yes. And he said, we have a ticket for you to come to New York. I said, I beg your pardon? But to do what? I said, and he said, to sing. I said, to sing? <coughs> what do you mean? He said, to sing with Lambert and Hendrix because Annie Ross has left the group. And I said, no, this is a joke because I can't sing that high. I can't hit those notes. I've never done it before. No, no, and I can't come. And he said, what do you mean you can't come? We have the ticket your work permit, everything. You had to just go to the American Embassy and pick it up. So I thought, well, let me go. I can go and see the skyscrapers. I've never been to America. I see all the skyscrapers. And I said, yes, but I can't come on Wednesday. I, I, I can only come on Saturday. And they said, oh, okay. I could hear him whispering, whispering. And he said, all right, Saturday it is. So I went and got my passport and my working permit, which was great to get, you know, to come here to work, just that simply it seemed in those days. And um, I got on a plane and came here on the 5th of May, 1962. And he had called me like about the 30th of April. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't have time to contemplate it because he had also said, go to so-and-so's house and get some of the albums and start listening to them. And I thought, oh, okay. And he said, you know, learn Annie's part. So I said, okay, if that's what I'm going to go there and do, yes, of course. However, what he didn't say was that their first album was multi-tracked. Mm -hmm. And it was the hardest thing in the world to find out which line of Annie's to sing because it was the orchestral sound, right? So, and they multi-tracked, everybody was singing two different tracks. So you couldn't tell who, what Annie was singing, really. Which track was I supposed to hear and sing? So I just thought, well, you know, when you're young, I think you're intrepid, you just don't care, you know, you're free. Yeah. So I thought, oh, well, I'll go there. They'll audition me, like they'll hear me sing and they'll say, oh, what a disaster. And I will look at the skyscrapers and go back to London. That's really what I thought. I thought they'd audition, you know. They'd never heard me sing. So I got on the plane. I came here. Dave Lambert met me at Idlewild Airport, as it was then. Mm -hmm. um, and we got on a tiny little plane. From there, he said, oh, we're going a little further. And I thought, isn't this New York? I didn't realize that there was a New York big state yeah. as well as a New York City. And he said, yes, yes, yes. And I said, can I see the skyscrapers? And he said, not, not, not right now, dear, or something, you know. And we flew to um, Schenectady to a place called Union College in Schenectady. And when we got there, it was filled with an audience. And Tom Paxton had opened the program. And they were all waiting and waiting and waiting, and the audience was getting a little restless and stuff, and come on, start the concert. And then I came in. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Thank goodness you're here. And 
John Hendricks went up and said, thank you for waiting, you know, now we'll present Lambert Hendricks and Ross. And I thought, what does that mean? Ross is in England. But he just did it, and we started One O'Clock Jump, which was the song we always started with. And when it got to the last chorus, I didn't dare hit those high notes. And Dave Lambert kept going, octave higher, octave higher, octave higher. You know, so I just thought, I better try this. I'm on the stage in front of so many people. And that's when I hit those first high notes. Mm.